GM everyone, it's me, Quinto, and in this video, we are coaching the students of the First Paragons Academy on how to play Marcolian. Our guest for today is Muka. Muka has been a part of the Parallel community since the closed alpha. He is a member of the Exile Bond and notably known as the best coach in Parallel. He has helped dozens of people, from the regular player who wants to improve to big names in the space. I hope that you enjoy this video and learn from all the valuable insights that Muka is going to give to you. Sorry to got you there. The game started. If you watch the stream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like in this hand, uh, I would probably mulligan like a longbow in the fire support base and try to get try to get a good one drop. Yeah, let's do this. Just, yeah, no, Ooh. this is good. This is good. You yeah, have this... the three one. And why is the, the reason that it's good? Why is the reason that it's good? Is that what you is that what you asked? Yeah. Yeah. Uh it's good because you have uh three you can play out your curve with potentially three units on board and guarantee that you get the longbow off. That like that's the main thing. Like you want the longbow to go off. Um we're starting first against our opponent. So what we can do here is because it's a Marco mirror match, board presence is the most important thing. So I'm going to suggest and keen to correct me if you don't agree, but I think we bank the crap shot here and play the gunslinger on his token. Um, so that he can't trade the token into our token, and we have a little more units on board. That way we can play our Bannerman and our uh, Fleet Machinist on turn two. Yeah, definitely. That, more, that's that's what I would do. Let's go. That's what I would do. And uh, the reason why is that Marco relies a lot of in tempo. And uh, to build tempo, you need to have a lot of units on the board. The more you have, the better. Since once you can trigger Lemmy or your fire support base, and you have a six unit board, for example, I mean, it's really, really tough for any enemy to to come back from that. Yeah. If uh, one thing I'll add that maybe, like, if I was going second, I would consider, I would have considered banking the. Uh, I would have considered banking the longbow because you can you're gonna search another longbow because you get an extra draw. But because wait wait don't do that now. Um, <laughs> uh, but that's if you were going second because you get the extra card draw. But because you were going first, that's why I was saying bank the crack shot because you want to you're not getting that extra card draw right. So you don't know what you're gonna get. So you're gonna get like the least common thing. Now going into this turn two, we can either play two one drops and almost guarantee the longbow but then he can also kill off one of our units the other option is to freaking play determined assault and kill his one two quinta which one are you liking i would build a board to be honest yeah yeah let's Back play the two one drops and get those longbows come on let's go yep yeah, yeah, bank the this determined the assault. Bank. Yeah, yeah. The reason why we're banking the determined assault is that uh, just bank it first and do the turn, and so then we can talk about it. Yeah. So the reason why we like this is because our board is like really wide. So even if he can take out two units this turn, uh, we have more than enough to still facilitate the longbow. Um, the reason why we don't keep like the determined assault, even though it's like unit removal, for example is because uh we can easily trade right now and still be okay and on top of that we can uh we can get rid of any of his assault activators if we need to like for example he has the uh he now has the trigger happy trooper so we can still uh, we're not going to psa it because i don't think that will that stops us from playing our longbow right so first we're gonna first goal is to get the longbow out so let's hit face. Uh, how are we gonna do this actually? Because I want, I do want to kill Trigger Happy, which sucks. Because I don't think we can do. But I think I we mean, have to just trade and let him get his longbow out. Also, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So the way you're doing it is right. Kill, kill the machinist. Hit face. Uh, you can no. bank the crack shot. The crack shot. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Because the PSA will help us remove, like, for example, the Trigger Happy Trooper if we need to next turn. And put the... Usually, in general, just always put your defenders uh, towards the ends. 
because right now where you have it, if he hits you with a glaive, you're going to be like, I hate my life, because you lose three units instead of losing two units. Yep. Makes sense. All right, there's our Corsair. Like, next turn is probably just going to be PSA, uh, you know, PSA, maybe Longbow. Right, so he gets his longbow. I mean, to be honest, uh, yeah, here I, I would say the Corsair. I agree. The issue here is that, um, wait, 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 wait. So we have so, two options. We have the option to kill that uh, Happy Trigger Trooper or kill the. Um, Longbow. There's no and deal the right? assault damage and play the other one. What do you say about that, Muka? Uh I say that we let him keep the trooper because we I don't we don't know. He didn't play a machinist, right? Check his waist. Did he didn't play a machinist, right? Or he did. Yeah, he did. Uh so he Okay, so we don't know well he didn't play multiple, so we don't know if he has two, for example, if that makes sense. So I think getting more units is better because we also get Lemieux turn first. So I think it's probably better to get the assault. Yeah. And then hit face and draw two. We probably okay. don't even have to bank. Hit face first. Did... We already banked, right? Yeah, already banked. Uh, yeah, you Ooh. can play the heavy weapons team and just hit face. Why hit face and not get some units? Um, because like we every every I guess with like Marco, like every unit hit to face is important. Like it's better that you get the face damage in and he tries to trade into you versus otherwise. Now here, look, right? He's gonna kill your longbow. And then he's gonna trade into you, um, and you see here that oh. he's obviously killing our uh, our uh, dude. But we now are set up. We can set up for like a decent Lemieux. I mean, our Lemieux won't go fully off, which sucks. But if we kill Lemieux, we can trade and take over the whole board, which I think it's kind of worth it. What are you What are you thinking, Quinto? Would you drop the Lemieux here? I mean, a a, a soft Lemieux here, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Yeah. Not the best, but uh, it's not bad since you will kill his most of his board. Yeah. Uh, Kumai, we couldn't we couldn't drop the. Oh no, we could have dropped the longbow because we hit face. Then that was a misplay on my part. Um, yeah. 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 We could have dropped yeah, the that, longbow. That that was what I wanted to do. Uh, instead of playing me, you should have stopped it. Yeah, yeah. I was I was uh, I was uh, thinking about. I thought like for some reason we weren't getting assault. We could have definitely gotten that. Um... I'm thinking, I think I like Soft Lemieux, but then he can, he can't, because then he has to Soft Lemieux back. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I if we... The veteran, I think bank the veteran and play the Lemieux. Okay. And then you kill the trigger happy trooper with the two tokens. Yeah, that's totally my bad for missing the longbow. Oops, do this, and then hit face for two, if you can fit it in. And we missed one damage. Oh. Okay. I mean, yeah. There's his Corsair. That's fine. Yeah, I think we're in a really good spot, actually, still. You play the what Magnus, I think, first. You're, you're getting another Lombo, right? Yeah. Okay. Right? We we only have one. One, yeah. two, three. Yeah. The fleet shall triumph. Do I from now on at like energy five just keep going phase? Like yeah, I, not I, take this out. At this point I think your your best option is to um go as wide as possible. So if you get a so, um, how do you call it? 
a fire support base, you will be alright. Yeah, I agree. I like it. And drop that banner, man. Drop the banner, man. Just hit face with the other. Damn. This is my nightmare as New Dawn. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. That's the only thing you have to do against New Dawn. Yeah. Crack yeah, should. So he, he has the Lemieux activator. Yeah. Gonna Lemieux you. Which is fine. Not too bad. We have enough units to be able to deal with everything, if depending on how it goes. He got the fire support base back. Okay. So, hopefully, you get yours here. No. No. But you can. Uh... I'm thinking. What do we like here? I think we're definitely gonna longbow. I almost wanna keep Gunslinger. So you Gunslinger the Corsair and then trade a token into it. Yeah, back to... keep the combat veteran too. Did you hit face? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, he, he did. Okay, good. Okay. Is there a point where I don't bank anymore? Like, go wide no. as possible? You shouldn't. Always... You shouldn't. Do you, it, cause you're always trying to find like the burn cards. Oh. But I, I've seen, I've seen in the tournaments, the Paragon Showdown tournament oh, that, uh, Get off my shit. yeah, play a combat veteran. Over yeah, this, we like the okay. combat veteran here, cause it'll keep growing. Yeah. Uh, the scale as you. Yeah. You just need a fire support base here. You're it's against Marco, over. so I'm not, I'm not gonna harp on it here. But your po unit positioning, just be careful with it. Like you're not, for example, like you're not safe. You're not set up properly against Glaive. Uh, spores, oh wait, so I should play this on the left. You should most. be all the way on the left if possible. Uh, try to try to get used to these these movements because when you do go against like Earthen, for example, you don't want to be like, oh, now I have to think about positioning. It should almost be like second nature. You know what I mean? Yep. All right, this is okay. Him going for the the fire support base is actually really awkward for him because he can't like really do anything else. Yeah, I mean it's that it's it will block attacks, but at this yeah. point, <clears throat> he used four energy for his curve too. There's like literally nothing you can do. Is like the answer for this that legendary three energy and destroy artillery his volley. Enemy? Artillery volley is definitely great here. I mean, it kills you. Kills you. Um, yeah, it, uh, it, it's a one of, so I, did, I just don't think you can like necessarily yeah. try to play around it. Um, maybe you could argue that you can. Come on! Uh, no fire support base. This is... Do we have our bannerman? Do we have a bannerman still? Mm -hmm. Just died. No. no, he killed it. Yeah. Bastard. Um, is... Yeah, we trade. Uh, do you have the Lemieux still? I don't even know. You no. have so many units. No. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think we do have to trade. But trade, like, yeah. Start with the one twos, the stuff. Oh, no, they can't live the attack. Yeah, yeah. So trade the one ones. I think we have to trade them. Ugh. This does stink a little. Yeah. Uh, hit. Yeah. You can finish yeah, off. No, fine. you can finish off with. No, 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 no. Trade the slinger. Your slinger. One of the slingers. Yeah. And use the combat veteran here. Yeah, we like the machinist oh. thing alive. Yeah, because uh, if you ever draw a vehicle, they get well, stronger. He doesn't have any more. But no more vehicles. Yeah, yeah, but that's just good practice. Get off my ship. So they'll try to search cards, or what's this gonna be? Just drop a, another unit on the board here. Yeah, drop a unit. And proud, bank. Yeah, we bank the shot. Yeah, you you bank it. You bank it. Because if you play it, then you're stuck like with only one card a turn, which is like really awkward. This is good. Your longbow will save to you from two attacks. Never mind. He has another mm, fire support base. Edge. Oh no. Oh, this is really good from him. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
If we draw our base, Jesus, we have not gotten a single base. Uh, yeah. What can uh, we do here? GG's. I don't think it's GG's yet, but it's definitely not good. Ugh, it's literally not good. I can use both um, and not draw. I think you have to use both and not draw for sure, but I don't know. Like, you definitely have to use that on the hired gun, the VMF, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, this is not good. Yeah, so that one misplay with uh, not doing the longbow, that was my fault. Uh, but yeah, that was probably one of our bigger misplays, which sucks. He has two five defenders, which is like really, really not good for us. This is my board will be clear if I just attack. He'll just target this. Yeah, that's unless the issue. I target this, he'll attack this. What can we do here? I would PSA the fire base first. Oh, this is so bad. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'd PSA the fire base first and then attack. But let's see. You've gone for the because he's gonna he's block gonna with that. Go there. Block, attack yeah. with the two two then first. It's and we can here. beat him. Okay, throw another one at the. I'm fire never base. hitting. I'm never touching you just this. need to get you just need to get one to <laughs> hit another one you got like two seconds you don't have a lot of time you got to make the decisions faster all right now a PSA you Ooh. could have PSA and killed it I mean yeah, yeah definitely uh, killed the bow. there was a there was a, a misplay there that but if you were able like if you were able to kill the uh, fire support base this turn right you killed the fire support base and the longbow he would have been left with a 1-1 one, one token and Lemieux, was all he would have had on board. Obviously, he has all this other stuff too, but... Would have been a yeah. little better. Oh, he has another longbow. Yeah, it's over. Uh, the longbow play was our biggest misplay, and that's on me for that one. Um, but it's also shows... I, got, I mean, I hope on the other side, it at least shows you guys how important the, the um, fire support base is. Like, we haven't drawn a single one. He drew all three. And it's a it's a powerhouse with Marco. It combos really really well. Yeah, definitely. Drew two and got one back. Yeah, you. he got all his uh, fire support bases, and you didn't get yours. Which the odds says that you at least should have gotten one. Um. So yeah. I mean, you. I you, have to clear something. something. You can concede and, and we, we can go to the next okay. one. You can do another this one. This is how you concede, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, no matter anybody in any MMR, we all know how to hit that button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Cover blown. Okay, who's you the next one? You did good, Sh uh, Shermak. VRO, please let VRO um, join the match here. Oh, so I'll host it again. And you guys can type. You can the use same any deck, yeah, Biro. <clears throat> yeah. Hi. This is a good one. Well. Yeah, so for this one, for example, your job is like board control more than anything. Does his infinitely scale as long as we yeah. live and do damage. Standing by. I'm assuming I look for the escapes. Is ours. Dubslinger? Uh, yeah, like, for example, in this hand, we're probably, we're not keeping the, uh, yeah, I think you can keep the Bannerman and the, the Determined Assault, but otherwise you're not keeping anything else. The reason why is those two pair really well together. And I can take out. You kill basically two units if they, if they both stick, it's very, very good. Oh, there's the base. Yeah, where were you when I needed you? <laughs>
The reason why I like I like this is uh, the bannerman here is like let's say he gunslingers us. Uh, you can, or even if this is even better, the striker's a better thing. You can play the bannerman here and not be worried because uh, this is a good yeah. bank, by the way. Yeah, yeah right. that's good. You can bannerman and then determined assault will just kill it when it becomes a three three, which is nice. Correct. And if he has another unit, attack. Them. We yep, we can trade. So this is good. Yeah, th this is I'm a good one. Be banking this. Ooh. All right, so we got PSA for us, which sucks a little bit. Hopefully, no gunslinger too. Okay, well, it's double, which kind of sucks. Yeah, double this Sag. All right, what do you think, Quinto? Sagness. Yeah, this is not good. We're not the best <laughs> spot. It was really good with the... You will need to hit the other one. one in case you draw a PS8, I think. Something like it. that. That's that's what I think. I don't know about you. I mean... He didn't clear it anyways, and... Uh, I mean... No, he won't clear. It. He won't necessarily clear it anyways. But if yeah, he... yeah, yeah. Just attack face. Keep your keep yeah. your your unit. If he chooses not to, then we have to go the longbow. I mean, and, like ignore it. You're okay. You're you're good. You're good. Um, yeah, you're in a decent spot. Still. Yeah. He comes up with uh, some crap. Uh, no cunning Sipian and another unit. That's where we get like really bad. Another Conning Cipian and, and another uh, Valerusi Striker. No, it's going to be really bad. <laughs> and it's Jover. No, actually, it's okay. It's okay. Since you can now... Uh, what do you say? Like, Yeah, play the longbow I, here, right? Yeah, you got a longbow. Yeah, definitely longbow. And Don't bank the, the, the thing. Okay. Bank the crack shot, I, I would say. Yeah. Okay. To the left. Nice. Yeah, the long move to take right. everything from us, which is good. That's a good position. Of the long move. Yeah. We probably may have to PSA the striker. I mean. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay. Yeah. It's BMF the eventual ally, I guess. Oh yeah, now it's now it's turning into the ally. <laughs> oh, girl. Um, what are your thoughts? Oh, we can't even longbow again. Oh, we can with gunslinger. What are your thoughts on longbowing again? And then, uh, and then um, like longbow the again. Next turn. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea, I would say. Because if we BMF here, and then trade. Still has the four four. Oh no, I think it's fine because then you can it's turn six. You can turn six. Uh oh, you could. Yeah, I think yeah, I think with a slinger is a yeah, turn six lemmy, it's good. Determined assault's not bad here. Mark has a point. You killed uh just killed a vengeful ally. And That's then right, and leaving this. Yeah, and then you could play gunslinger and uh, uh fleet machinist if you want. And that guarantees uh assault. I think that's good. Let's do that. Determine assault first. Yeah. Banking. Slingering a unit. Longbow. Are we gunslinging a unit? I mean, it doesn't even matter. You can just trade the tokens then. Let's go. Yeah. Gunslinger a unit. Yeah. You got 12 seconds to get this all done. I'm play the gunslinger. On the... Yeah, yeah. Play the gunslinger on the token. Okay. And then so next turn I could be a machinist. machinist. Machinist, machinist. Attack face. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk after. Yeah, the, the, the oh, coaching is uh, in in this game. <laughs> I always uh, get to this point where it's uh, over. Um, you can, time so. Yeah, you can Lemieux. You can Lemieux this turn or BMF depending on like what the threat is. Um, obviously, it's, oh. I mean like why i like lemieux more is because uh you will have probably two units on board uh, or one unit that i can attack 
And then that unit can also trade because it will be a 2-2. Two -two. So, like, if we need to trade, let's see. Um, but if not, you could always black market fixer and then just do another search. No more longbows. One. Okay. Was that PS8? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, here's the next. Okay, this is, this is good. Oh, uh, this is... Um... I think I BMF. And then I can uh, leave you this one. Because he can't attack his next unit. Yeah. On summer. It's good. Yeah, yeah. You're right. It's actually really good that he didn't play any of the cards. What do we, Kinza, you like the bank on the draw? On the tactics? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you're winning on draw anyways. Mm -hmm. You're getting Solid. the machinist uh, more draw. This is good. This is as good yeah, as Yeah, this gets. is perfect now. Um, those two, three. Do you have the one drop? He has the back, right? Yeah. Get off my ship. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, you gunslinger for assault here, and then you just full trade. I think. Just kill, kill everything. Okay, board control. Yeah, you bank the veteran. Moving this way. Well, I can get one these guys back e it, yes right? yeah Great. i think you full clear right kinto yeah <clears throat> definitely even if you lose yeah if, even even if you lose the the units you full clear here yeah it's just so nothing else scales and now he's left with one card in his hand you have two units and three cards in your hand. Ooh. Even if he plays some defender, gunslinger, double, longbow. If not, you go longbow, fire support base. Like, this is really good. I, am his blade. I would like to clear this. Yeah. Uh, there's no chance at all. Mm. Um... The good thing is, yeah, I, I would go double longbow here. Yeah, I like double longbow. Because uh, then you just fire support base after. You drop that, uh, I would drop also the happy trier trooper. Yep, I agree. Yeah, so Cathari doesn't have any uh, mass removals. So at this point, it's and more in an against a Neos deck. Neos doesn't have any any answer so to this. Let it fall is imminent. They get two board clears out of nowhere. Um, Cathari? No, he's joking that in Planet Fall know. they get two board clears. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, at this point in the game, you just forget you're playing against a player. You just yeah. play your face <laughs> yeah, yeah. At this point, you, you just... just... Play face and you hit the face. Face is the place. I still back? Yeah, for more burn cards. Oh, you have game this turn, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's scary. Putting myself on the other side. Hey. Yep. Very good. So, who wants to go next? Hopefully, hopefully the guys that are um, that are playing against are them. also learning something here. GG's uh, VRO, very very well played. You actually did everything right, uh, VRO. Yeah, you did. Or DG said he can, or they can. Who said? Uh, or for DG. Oh, for DG. Okay. So, anyone else who wants us to review your deck and also get coach, please move forward. And it's uh, regarding Marco, not the uh, other decks. Alright, here we go. Mirror match. Ken is just a new dawn in the sky. <laughs> uh, do we need to deafen 40G? I don't even know if you did it for VR or yeah. last game. I mean, they, they can watch the his hand either way, so... Oh yeah, that's fine. That's... I mean, so this is Marco Mirror. Uh, you have the Fleet Machinist, so you don't need the Longbow. I don't even think you need Determined Assault. Like, we probably want, like, PS8 or Gunslingers more. You don't want the Crash <laughs> Out either. Two One Drops is good. And we go with this, Kinto? Uh, or should yeah. we change anything? Two One Drops. Both? Oh, we you always want to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit confirm, hit confirm, 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 hit confirm, hit confirm. Oh, oh. fuck. <laughs> All right, so this is we still have two one drops, but uh, a little bit not as nice now. Um, I probably would bank the longbow because we're just gonna search two other longbows, and it's our turn. Oh, shall try I trade it? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think you trade. Do you trade? I think you trade the one one into the one one. Kinto, how about you? Yeah, definitely. Or, or, or are we praying we draw like a gunslinger? No, the thing is that uh, if he draws the gunslinger, he will yeah. erase like your board. Like yeah, exactly. Clear the 1 1. Did I add a third piece? I forgot. Yeah, you did. Oh, we are no. in a lot of trouble. Yeah, so he had the mulligan <laughs> that like we wanted. We want like yeah. the trigger happies. We want the. Banana. I mean, you can still do something here. Hundred uh, percent. Definitely yes. bank the improvised tactics yep. and determine assault. The yeah, we gotta kill the, the scaling man. unit before it becomes comes yeah. out of control. At this point, um, you will have to. He play the machine, so we pray he doesn't have longbow, but we can make it work. 
Rough. What was that? Uh, it's six out of forty cards that he has, either machinist or longbow. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, and this the this situation is kind of like why I'm not the biggest fan of the unseen commando in Lemieux because we can't make it bigger. Uh, if we were playing Catherine, right, we could make this a uh, a four three, but in Lemieux, the best we get is a three two, and then he just trades it into. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think here your best option is back the unseen commando. I think so too. Keep uh, the if we're gonna win, it's gonna be like through burn aggression. Kill um, just... kill one of the little tokens with a gunslinger and play the two machinists. Yeah, I agree. Little board. Because we have uh we have longbow next turn that we can do. Even if he clears some of our board. Shall try it. We I actually could do it twice. Long... Shall try it. If yeah. needed. At this point. Okay. Not bad. This point, we hope there's no fire support base. Yeah. Fire support base definitely makes a lot of things more awkward. If he fire support base, then I say we probably BMF. But that doesn't even stop assault or anything. Eventual ally. Now this grows. Good play from him. I probably would have drawn first before I played the ventral ally and stuff. Um. All right, I'm thinking. I think we have the longbow. But then he just Lemuse and trades. Mm. Maybe we just BMF this turn. I mean, he if even if we you we, if we play longbow here, he will blame you. So yeah, yeah, definitely BMF and. Try to establish a board presence at, at some point. Attack that Lombo. Yeah, try to attack that Happy Tree Trooper. If you have to go, <laughs> never a bad idea. <laughs> it may happen. Maybe he went for a cup of water. <laughs> it does work. Sometimes it works on me. Like, I'm not. Wait, we didn't bank. Oh, we did bank. Okay, thank God. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. Oh, he we... scared me. <laughs> I was like, wait, did we bank? What did we bank? Oh, uh, the improvised tactics. I was like, oh, like, oh no. shit. All right, so he's going to long us again, unfortunately. He wouldn't. Yeah. He's going to set up the board. He's going to set up a board for a fat Lemieux. Guys, don't... Game. We have so many, we have so many crack shots we can set up Lemuse. Alright, what were you gonna say, Quinto? What was your yeah, warning? Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying to people in the in the chat that don't worry about, like, if you are plat, I mean, I don't want to undermine anyone and their ranking, but um, at this point in the game, uh, I would say, like, there's a difference in skill if you're Diamond 1, the rest, uh, below that, I would say it's uh, similar plat and, and gold is practically the same. So, so don't stress about the ranking at this point. I totally agree. Yeah, totally agree. Oh. Mm. Damn it, man. Can we draw a PS8? Oh, Jesus. Never. Okay. 
Because I was going to say, oh. if we drew PSA, this would have been a great turn to, like, uh, set up uh, a longbow. But yeah, I think we still have to set up a longbow. Probably crack uh, crack shot, longbow, trigger happy. Do we agree with that? Probably the best thing we have. I think only thing to do? Uh, oh, shit. Always okay. on the left. Yep. <laughs> Just throw one into the. Yeah, Yoda says, I wish the game gave a little XP when you lose, like 4 XP or something. I agree. I wish so too. I think, I hope that changes. Oh, not this. This is better than him lemuing us, honestly. Let's do this. I could lemue. Yeah, I think we have to lemue. Yeah, at this point. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, maybe if yeah, maybe the the mulligan would have been. Uh... Yeah, definitely would have helped. I mean, he had a better. Set up, uh, what do we bank here? Yeah, I think you have to bank. It's either you play, you keep the gunslinger. Okay, so I'm in the camp that you keep gunslinger over crack shot because it's a unit. Yeah. Unit, right? Yeah. You hit face with the gunslinger. We're going to play Lemieux. Kill fire support base. This dies. This has no... Yeah. Hey, I think we can get. Oh. Uh, probably grab BMF for the combat veteran. Cause I could trade I'm... the combat veteran, right? Um... Uh, yeah, you have to kill defender. Oh. oh okay. Get off my ship. And then. Yeah, you have to kill the trigger happy. Oh, this is as good as it gets. Oh, oh he drew repurposed. Yeah. That's not bad. Mmm. But BMF definitely is scaling in it. Yeah, because this is going to be a big problem. Let's do this. Oh, he's not lemuing. Okay. He has crack shot or, or uh, he can bank now, so determined assault too. A lot of burn cards he could use. I noticed those cards like this are called burn cards. Yep. Anything that does damage directly to face, it's a burn card. Yeah, he's going to kill our Lemieux here. Uh, but this is okay. You can BMF and longbow this turn, unless he has a another card like a gunslinger or something. Can I... But if you can BMF and longbow, that's good. Okay, this is good. Um, shoot. All right, banking. I think I wait, wait. we're we're now we're mm. now in this is a this is something I like to tell you. We are now in the mid to late game, right? So I think you're overvaluing some of these early game cards like the PSA. Quinto, do you think banking the PSA is fine here and keeping the Corsair? Yes. I do. Right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I yep. So let's let's bank the PSA. Because that's an early game card now. Now we need cards that are giving a little more impact, high impact cards. To, to try to get us over the edge. Hit face, yeah. hit face, hit face. Oh shit, okay. I was scaring you. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so remember, like uh, to that point, like with the P with the PSA and stuff, um now look it's always good to 
you can take a step back and look at the cards uh, in your hand and look at how much energy you now have access to, right? Like, yeah. typically, obviously, in a trading card game, cards that cost more do more. So as you're getting more and more energy, uh, and you have more energy each turn, you want to pay attention and keep in mind that, like, oh, I can play two more big cards now in a turn. Maybe I should hold on to those big cards because they have more impact generally. The PSA is good, but, like, Let's say he builds his board like three or four units. What are you going to do with one PSA, right? The PSA, you're you're typically attracted to the PSA because uh, you see it so, you're looking for it so often in the early game. But now we're in the like the mid to late game. You want to pay attention to like what you have, what you can maybe, you want to expand your horizons a little bit, right? Like what can we get away with doing maybe a little bit more? God damn it. Oh, okay. I mean, that's okay, because we have answers for this. We go Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Okay. Now, do we... Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Um... Yeah, definitely. Thoughts on... Yeah, yeah, you banked on Team Commando. Thoughts on repurpose hard-wearing the support base instead of Lemieux? Quinto. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then and you put your this. base and you can clear. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the play, definitely. You're also cheating them out of One. a draw, which is like so good at this point in the game. Yep. In like two turns, this is like a swing. Yeah, that's that's the that that's like, and this was what happens. Like I, uh, someone was asking, "Oh, like, can we see a matchup that's not like Marco versus Marco?" Which I can totally agree, but it goes to show you, like, uh, as the this is like the problem that can happen to Marco, where like the energy gap, the energy is so big, the pool that your opponent that maybe plays some more controlly cards can get away with like doing more to control your board and it can like really really suck if you're not like if you can't secure that win so like in the marco mirror it's even worse because you guys are like trading back and forth yep <clears throat> all right hmm jesus this is not the best this is tough I think, Quinto, I want your opinion on this, but I think you trade for two units here and uh, and play the Bannerman and the... Oh, you just play the Bannerman. You keep, you're going to be playing Bannerman and Gunsling. Sorry, you're going to be Don't playing bank. and Gunsler. Like, I think you trade BMF into BMF, and then you trade token into 1-2, and then Gunslinger ping. Wait, okay, don't do it yet. I wanted his opinion, too. But uh, <laughs> now, we can, now we kind of have to do it. Um, but yeah, trade it into yeah. the 1-2, and then Gunslinger. Yeah. I wanted Keith's opinion. You just start doing it. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, bank the banner, man. Bank the banner, man. He's gonna, gonna kill yeah, it but... anyways. Yeah, bank the Bannerman and play the uh, Corsair. Um, yeah, Kito, yeah, do you agree with that? Or do you think you should have put more resources to kill the Lemieux? No, I, I, I actually liked that. Uh, yeah, definitely it's the same attack. And at this point, uh, it doesn't matter if you use more resources on Lemieux. So it was better to just use less resources and, and kill the... BMF. Gotcha. Okay. All right. There's that tactical mm. display. Any units? Oh, <laughs> look at that longbow. Look at that longbow. We hate to see it, but it's okay. Yep. Hmm. Sure. Yeah. Just try to control that yep. word at this point. Yeah. Kill his token. Yep. And uh, drop the heavy weapons team, I think. I think so too. Yeah, you can bank, bank the trooper. bank for, for for a miracle here. 
Last draw. For two cards next turn. Got another mm -hmm. one. The same situation, basically, both of you. Yeah. Yeah. You, this is now a top deck war. Where are five fire bases? Give us something. Two more. Okay, that's oh. good. Yeah, you kill uh, the trigger happy, and then you kill uh, Lemieux. I will clear board here. Just, sure. yeah, exactly. Another. This is the way. Ah. Uh, <laughs> God damn really it. Annoying. No. <laughs> Dude, no. He's out sacking you. What's good is he can play one unit a turn and you're getting two damage pings. I mean, just hold on to the PSA, and I wouldn't even trade the VMF. Look, try to draw a fire support base. This is so funny. One and two. Hey, in five turns, if he doesn't play a unit, you can win. Mm hmm. If someone oh, has a shroud ready, uh, can let's do that matchup after because people are asking for it. There you go. Uh, but yeah, clear that. It's clear that salt and pizza. It's a little scary though because you're yeah. burning your three. Yeah, you're burning your 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 health, but at this point, you're just all in. So <laughs> and then he was. He just got a crack in. shot and then another crack shot. You're done. If it was crack shot, he would have played it. He banked. He has one in that waist, and he banked the other one. What is that? Okay, definitely no. That's no. T4 interceptor. Oh. oh no. That's not good. Firebase, hello. hello. Oh, and gunslinger. He's. One. Yeah, you guys are in the top deck war, so now it's now you now you definitely need a top deck. <laughs> All right, well you finally drew it. Sad you can attack. Yeah, I think it's a loss, definitely. Either way. Yeah, this is gonna, let's if he gets something. Uh, I think it's a loss. He got the crack shot. He got the crack. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this was, the match that, this was the match that we didn't even mulligan, so I'll take it. <laughs> we got it through a top deck war at the end. Let's get out of here. All right, do we got a, a do we got a, That was a stretch. I mean, like, it, it, it was decent. I mean, he had a good start, and you had, like, three crack shots that game in hand at, like, turn four. But there was someone with a shroud yeah i uh, <clears throat> don't see a chat oh there is uh, how fey i got it. can do that yeah we didn't mulligan in that match so don't worry that was good learning experience though decision making mulliganing Whatever you guys want to do here, if you guys want to ask a question, if someone else wants to try a few a match or two, I can hang around for like two, maybe like two more matches. Okay, good, amazing. So yeah, <clears throat> is someone else screen sharing or uh, Sh Shock Sun saying he could do some coaching? His computer might melt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we can try it. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Uh, yeah. Definitely, parallel right. is. Uh, Machine intensive game. No problem, House. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Yep. Thank you. Good luck on the, the play test. I don't know what game it's for, but it sounds fun. Yeah, play test is like a test in a game, right? Another game. Yeah, it's only Marcolian focus day today. Oh, you're the wild card? That's really cool. I think you only need the, the NFTs to partake, right? So 
Uh, I can't do it right now, but I'd love to. Send me some info about it. Uh, okay, Shockson asked, is Vengeful Ally good without Muriel? Um, I play two Vengeful Ally in my build. I think I have two Combat Veteran and two Vengeful Ally. Um, I like Vengeful Ally. I think it's still decent right now because it's de it's good against... It's like an out against Earthen. So if you have a wide board and you're like, I'm going to get Spores... Um, then you can go the ventral ally all the way on the right, and you'll be okay. Um, right. it's also good against some trades, like against Cathari, if you're gonna like make some trades. I think it's decent. Um, I'd even argue like it, like you don't like Muriel's not that good right now, uh, because obviously she can't target herself anymore. Um, but the ventral allies, I still think are a decent option. Like I, some some people like Daryl has it in his list. And I think like Sequinox doesn't have it in his list. I have it in my list, but I'm always like juggling if I want it or not. But I think it's I think it's good. Most of the two drops, keep in mind with Marco, are usually always going in the bank. They're like your niche cards, given the sit context and situation. Um, I, I if as and as long as you understand that, you can understand like uh the value that they give. Are defender cards good for Marco besides the fire support base? Uh, your access, your, your other accessible options are like, um, unstable drone and cunning diplomat. No, I don't think those other cards are worth it. They don't like give you any other advantage. Yeah. Um, you, act <clears throat> you actually play just uh, fire support base mostly because of the buff, and definitely defender helps. Um, because it has synergy with the defender of the longbow, which is our two cards that give you tempo. So it's more like a tempo thing. And it's a plus that they are, have defenders, so it, it can help you defend your, your cheap units. Yeah. The Marco is that you're building a cheap army that you're buffing and just like hitting face and making stronger. Um, defenders don't accelerate that, that narrative, so like that's, it, that's where it's an issue. You already, because of the engine, have built in six defenders. Um, so that's why, that's how they kind of like synergize together and come in handy. But aside from that, like it, it's an aggressive deck, right? Your job is not to want to go into the late game. Like defenders are there to get you further into the late game. Um, so that's why it's like kind of counterintuitive. Uh, 4DG asks like when you have a competitive Marco deck, should you always rush face and finish the enemy orbital strike? I mean... You you're you're a very like machine oriented like tempo deck. Like it's very you're aggro, but like um uh faces the place is like a, a good meme, but like certain matchups you need to under you need to like kind of have under your belt that like board control is also important. Like you can go faces the place against Naeus and then you like lose because they just have so many units that are strong, you know what I mean? Or even against Sipius, like um Certain points you need to know uh, how to control the board, and that kind of comes with experience and like matchups. But it is an aggro deck that, like, by the time you get them to for for the general rule, you probably want them to get under ten health. Like, let's say around like turn like seven onwards is like the main goal. If you can do that, you're in a really good spot. Mark says, "I thought face is the place. Face is the place, but sometimes we sometimes we we can't always be hitting face as much as we want to." Do you clear all early shroud cards like engine whispers and steward, or go face before your units get removed? Um, let me think. Typically, what do I do? Typically, unless I can get an easy kill on steward. I typically start to ignore it if like if I have longbow combo like I just ignore the steward because I'm like that's probably getting gonna be my Lemieux target um but I don't like try to pour a lot of resources into a steward if I can kill it early I'll kill it um engine whispers typically I don't like touch like i'm not going to trade my one one tokens into it but like a trigger happy trooper could kill it or like a spare psa if anything like that quinta what do you think do you agree um, with that I don't know if you're listening you clear all your early shroud units like 
Uh, and you in Whisper? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I mean, <clears throat> Trout can. Um, I, I'm not sure how it is against Marco because I don't play Marco uh, too much in the meta right now against Trout. But uh, with uh, Kathari, I definitely uh, clear everything. Um, yeah. With Marco, like if if the steward has like let's say two banishes under its belt, then I probably start ignoring it as Marco. Like, yeah. but uh, but an engine whisper, if you can get it out easy, yes. get rid of it. If you can get rid of the steward easy, get rid of it. Um, it's okay with Marco to have one unit, kind of like be a growing nuisance, um, because you can Lemue it, um, or yeah. For the most part, you can Lemue it. So, like, if you can dodge it for a few turns, then you're fine. Uh, Shoxan's saying that he wants to try streaming. Let's okay, try go it. Ahead. Let's, let's yeah. see if you can... If you can do it, let's do it. If not, he can. Cool. we can at least give comments on his deck code. Yeah. Thank you, guys, by the way. Need no, that. no problem, man. Thank you. Welcome, sir. And, okay. Yeah. It's the Some idea. Of them, so I, I, I even gave you some misplays, so I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if it. Um... Yeah, let's see if the stream works. Shock Sun, let us know. Uh, I, I see it. I see it loading. I think if that's your monitor, then I see it. Yeah. Very cool. The animated background. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay, hi. What's up? Just uh, checking out my Marco deck. I'm not really sure, though. Like, is Strength of Mars good? Uh, typically, no. Because it's, uh, like, there's a lot of, like, removal in the game. And there's not a lot of cards that are, like, self-damaging your board that you could just play in one turn. Um... So those things kind of together won't. Well, you can't like get like a. It's all about being like aggressive and wide, right? Uh, the more centralized you make your board as Marco, the less effective it is, um, because a lot of other decks have like can like accumulate resources to kill like one unit. Um, I could see Strength of Mars being good in the future if there was like a lot of self damaging cards that you could kind of play in one turn and like combo together. But currently, no. Look, like, what do you have? Trigger Happy Trooper and Determined Assault. That's it. Otherwise, it's like if they ignore your unit and hit face, which is still like okay. Like they used to see some people used to do like Combat Veteran with the Strength of Mars. Uh, this is like way back, like Alpha days. Um, and then like it would catch people by surprise because like they'd hit face, not wanting to trade into your Combat Veteran, and then it would grow. Um, but. Against decks that you're already good against, it doesn't benefit, and it doesn't help against decks that you're not good against. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so I, I put that point back into improvised tactics. Okay, um, uh, I can't, are you showing us your list? I can't see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah sorry. Um, we see the monkey back, the, the computer background. Like with the the screens and stuff. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, I don't know if it turned. It looked like you hit like a like your Discord was doing like a video. Like maybe you were. I don't know if you were hitting share screen. Oh yeah. Hold on. Let me uh just unpop this. I think I've definitely hit the wrong button. Uh... Not sure if it's working. Uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like you've turned a stream on yet. Are you hitting the share your screen on the bottom left, the button there? On the okay, bottom left of Discord. 
Okay, so I have screen one. I think I got this. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, perfect. Okay. We'll go into parallel. Go. Okay. Okay, great. Sorry. So, uh, I have one shielded assassin. Okay. I figured it's like versus Shroud. Okay. And that's just and to help you from banishes, like... I assume? Like, that's what you're feeling? That... Uh, basically, yeah. I think. Okay, okay. But I'm not uh, sure. Um, um, I have yeah. true boss because I can't use like any legendary, I guess. Yeah. But he's, he's pretty strong. What was the but... one legendary you got from Marco? Which one do I have for Marco? Uh, yeah. Like AP, AP or NFT? Yeah. Is this an NFT deck? I guess that's my first question. Uh, there's Yeah, there's definitely some NFTs in here. <laughs> oh, but there's APs also. Uh, this one, well, I had I have a Marco starter, so okay. this one must be NFT. Because it's got to be like mostly the uncommons, right? I fr like... Okay, so you got artillery volley. That's your legendary. I see. I, I see it right there. Um, uh, I think that's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's, an AP. it's an AP. So like, that's why I'm asking. Like, because some people, if you're playing an all NFT deck, obviously, uh, you want to try to get your five wins. What I recommend people to do, especially like everybody in here, is that if you're trying to get your five wins, uh, for like the prime or uh, earnings, then just do the five wins with the prime, but then switch to like an apparition uh deck with the NFTs. So that you can get more wins and get like you know better ranks and stuff like that, uh, and a little less you know handicap yourself a little less. Um, now okay, cool. going through your build, um, uh, I want to do something a little different this time because uh, you know with with uh, Mark we weren't able to know exactly what all cards what were the cards he had. So uh, under the search box next to it you see where it says parallel no no that's the filter so not there oh uh, oh actually one. on the yeah yeah yep uh, actually click those double down arrows again so it like uh yeah yeah there we go right. <laughs> and then click by cost now you're good the menu is a little confusing yep and let's turn off any filters that you have here like the common uncommon stuff oh sure I've got a bunch yep. of stuff. No, you're good. And then just turn. Let's turn off this filter. And then now, now we can uh, or like get rid of the 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 filter window. So just click on that those carrot that oh, carrot yeah. again on the right side. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now I, we can see what you have. Um, can you just scroll down on the right side a little bit? This will let us oh, see yeah. what cards you're running, uh, and what what cards you even own. Okay. This is giving me actually really good information. Oh, you have a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. This is great. You you I'm have a there. you have a T1 Marco deck in here. Yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to make the really good common uncommon one, and it's like it's challenging because uh, I can't okay, Because you guys need to make yeah. a common uncommon one. I understand. Okay, let's put the filters back on. I apologize. I didn't understand the context. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cool. It's good that you know what I have, but, like, just focusing now is, like, a challenge, you know? Yeah. And so if you're on the common uncommon, right, that means, like, the main things, the main drivers that we need to focus on are ensuring that, like, we have good com the good combo and good tempo. It's less about... It's less about uh, cards that like make certain matchups easier, um, and more about how can I make sure my combos happen more often. Like how often can I be in a good situation? Like for example, you have the shielded assassin for uh, uh, for shroud, right? Um, I actually don't think you, I don't know if I can, if I'm reading the tabs right, but if you have a third trigger happy trooper, I'd say trigger happy trooper is better because there's more chances you can attack into a defender, uh, and get your, get your assault or even, uh, instead of shielded assassin, why not heavy weapons team? Cause that will ping your opponent and give you one, uh, one, a damage that can like give you uh, assault faster, right? 
Um, I don't know if heavy it was heavy weapons team in here. Or you did not have the card. You probably you might not have uh, the card. Oh, you do. You have three of them. Yeah. yeah. So like that's why I like cause, like heavy weapons team is great against Shroud. It's great against Shroud and it's great in the mirror match because like they can't they either have to put like a bunch of resources into it, which sucks for them, uh, or they have to uh, let it live and they can't really do anything against it. Um, and you'll have like two other units on board. So it it just like pairs really really well. Whereas, like, the shielded assassin, like, I understand it in concept, but what if you're worried about that, who's to say they don't just hit you with, like, a void runner and banish, you know what I mean? And then it's like all those efforts go to waste. Um, and let's, let, let's keep going down a little bit, actually. Let's see. I like doing it from the right side because I can visualize. So I like the three combat veteran. I think that's good. Um, two improvised tactics is pretty good. The three deterrent assault, obvious, right? Unseen commando. I think that's your card. That's like good against shroud. If like it needs to be again, I said this to, uh, when we were looking over marks, like I'm not the biggest fan of this card again in Lemieux because it only gets two health with assault. So, and, and you're putting a lot of resources to try to get this guy on the board. If you're, you're like with Lemieux, you're, you don't normally want to play um a two cost f on turn two you want to play two one drops to go wide so that you can facilitate more chances that you will get a longbow activating and more units means when you play like a, a fire support base it does more damage now the two drops that you do play that are good to play you want to either you want to make you want to play them if you can make sure that they can stay over two health so they're not dying to like uh, just like a, a normal trade for your opponent or like, you know, this doesn't apply to Unseen Commando, but like a PSA or anything like that. Um, the problem with Unseen Commando is like, aside from like the Shroud matchup, um, anybody else can just like run into it. And in the Shroud matchup, I'd argue, uh, I'm not going to argue, but I, uh, but I like, uh, Combat Veteran just cause it just has health and can like live on the board um it it would take two effects to get rid of it uh unless kinto like feels differently i don't know i just don't think unseen commando is that great in lemieux like if you're a catherine player i can understand you playing it yeah. unseen commando could be decent like unseen commando was better when it had three health i mean it was like our yes, two health definitely and then two health. became three yeah. three i just feel definitely, like um, sticking with right lemieux, now it's I usually... it's it's not a card that i will play uh and yeah, just viable in in uh, Catherine. My opinion. Cool, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I rarely use Catherine. Uh, I just play Lemieux because it's. I'm really. I I used to play Earth and I love Earth and then, but Marcoli and I just. I because when I played Magic, I played. I started with Green and then I moved to Red because I started to. I started to like. I just switched my play style and I realized I did the same thing. Parallel. Where I started with no, green, that's really cool. cool. I like the I like the synergies between or like the comparison between the both. Yeah, I can see that like green and red and stuff. So uh, mm -hmm. I so I started building both styles of decks, and I really had to decide like which parallel to pick for the tournament. And I figured like without the like apparition legendaries that I have for Earthen, uh, like I just couldn't do it. I think I'd rather play Marcolian. So Marcolian. I'm still learning, really, because I like, I kind of almost like Earthen more, but I just feel like they're harder to play. And Marcolian's so effective when it works, and I feel like it works all the time when I, when I play it. So. <laughs> yeah, Marco is very, uh, very effective. It, it gets, yeah. it, the expertise comes in with like the, not, with the, uh, like, like the later rank, game or whatever. Right? Yeah. 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 I'm still low rank. I, I need to like get good. That's <laughs> yeah, all good. The practice makes perfect. Um, but so far the, the skeleton looks good. I like that. I I mean unseen commando. I, I is kind of like the only place where I feel like maybe I'd be wrong is like just a good meta decision. Like let's say everybody in here is like a shroud player, then you might be like the genius playing the unseen commando, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but in well, general, like especially people, they're playing Kathari and shroud. Yeah. We we have a lot of shrouds for the tournament. No, that's, that's yeah. True. So I mean, it might be a good idea. But like, yeah, Void Runner is a good two drop that kind of like still doesn't make it feel that great because, uh, it again, your unseen commando goes to only two health now. So if they drop a Void Runner on turn two, think about it like this, right? You go turn one, 
you drop a unit. Uh, let's say it has two health, and then turn two, you drop Unseen Commando. Let's say you're even going first. Uh, you kill their shield pod on your turn two. Their turn two, they have a they have the uh, Singularity Steward. They Void Runner. Uh, your token, your one one token. Now their dude's buffed. Your steward, steward is now a two uh, two four, and he just runs into Unseen Commando, and Unseen Commando dies, or he kills the the lower one cost, and then his Void Runner just runs into your Unseen Commando, and Unseen Commando dies. I see. It's just not enough health to keep him like to to keep it like up and 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 strong. Like that's why I like it in Catherine because you can at least on turn three get it to three health, and that's like a little bit more menacing. Since everyone it's a lot plays more Lemu, it feels like I, I I've thought about making a Catherine or the other one. Um, I'm like I'm hoping that in Planet no, don't play Armor Division. Out, be, <laughs> yeah, don't play Armor Division. Well, maybe in Planet Fall it'll be good. I don't know. Yeah. I can't say too okay. much. I mean, uh, the ambassadors, we've been able to play it a little bit, so, but it is exciting. That's all we can say. A It'll little bit. I already have meta decks for every. No, no, no. I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> so, yeah. I, I was going to say that Shroud um, is another parallel that has very good best and decks um, because most of the cards that are used in meta. Um, are common and uncommon. Yep. So, so have to take that in mind too. Totally. That's hundred uh, percent how it's gonna uh, uh, go down. Um, but like, yeah, with Marco, I think let let's go down to the lower cost. But so far, like we're kind of hammering in the point. But like, it, I think it's important to keep that tempo going, keep that momentum going, and you don't want to pour too many resources into one card with Marco uh because if that if that's the case if you're gonna play that way if they get rid of it then you're kind of like screwed right so which is why i want to uh kind of keep going wait did we see the rest of your deck i don't even think we saw the rest of your deck we just stopped at the two drops shock sun i don't know if his uh his computer was heating up maybe too much <laughs> maybe <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't think we finished. But yeah, if uh, if nobody has any other questions, I guess uh I guess that's it for me. Uh yeah. I'm always down to help. Oh yeah, some lag or stuttering. So it looks like his computer is probably taking like heavy load. Yep. Okay, it's fine. So guys, uh Thanks uh, for being sorry, here today. Uh, sorry about that. I no, you're hear good. You you're good. Guys, I had to close my stream, I think. No, but, worries. Uh, no worries. Thank you for your your insights into the deck. I, I I still have... So I dropped the Unseen Commando, but if we're facing a lot of Shroud, should I put in that maybe? Should I, or maybe... Or, or I'm sorry. Just for that one extra card in my deck, is there any you might recommend? Uh, uh recommend uh, i have to remember like what's common or uncommon but if you don't have like i'd say like just uh tempo and like good card removal is good so uh stuff like black market fixer is good master poisoner uh, is not allowed in this is it is it a rare no, master I poisoner that's i think it's a rare that card i've seen yeah it's a, rare. it's a rare yeah black market oh. fixer is a good option uh if you're not running like multiples i'd say run like at oh. least two is a decent option you can do one um i just but I think one right now i didn't have one i forgot yeah it's okay. a it's a good one for sure um let me think any other cards at the top of my head uh i i liked what mark did with the mantris corsairs i think that's good i don't think it's wrong for any of you guys that are like interested in marco to do three improvised tactics just to like really at the late game try to push card draw and try to get the last few burn pieces that you need um because you're going to be banking it considerably in the early game so like if you draw it in the late game with a burn card that, that that feels good um with marco i guess some general tips that i'll give before i go is like don't just burn don't just like use all your burn cards just because you have the energy for them that's probably one of my bigger things you'll have a lot of energy as the game goes on use them effectively to trigger assaults that's like the main thing like 
if you're going to have a burn card and you're going to use it, like, don't just use it because you have one energy left. Because then you'll draw that assault card you needed to activate it with and you have no way to activate assault and you're like, oh, I'm screwed. So try to pair those things together, especially in the late game when you're like, in, let's say you're in top decking for the last burn card. If you draw that burn card, like let's say you draw that crack shot, just wait a turn. Maybe you draw the improvised tactics or something with it that you can pair that's like a little bit better. Um, something that I noticed with like Mark and I think will apply to everyone, myself included, is just understand like what point of the game you're in when you're like considering banking. Obviously, you guys are all good at like realizing when you're in the early game, bank like the like the high costing cards because they don't always like synergize well. Um, but also keep in mind that uh, banking the uh, early game cards when you're approaching like the mid to late game is also really good because you want to try to draw more of those like high impact cards um, and the and get rid of the low impact ones. Uh, aside from that, I, I don't think there's too much I have. I mean. Just keep playing it, practice it, practice the matchups. You like you said, there's if there's a lot of shroud, start to recognize what cards you can't pour all your resources into. Like fire support braces are great, but if you're like don't have the combo set up, like maybe consider banking it because it'll just get banished or something if you're just like holding on to it or something. Um Lemieux is a great answer to like honored steward or anything like that. Um it's a great answer to a lot of cards like use that card sparingly it's good to use him on curve if you have a wide board right so you want that's why we like the two one drops on turn two because that's another unit that you can like buff on turn five and just like do good trades or just hit face um but yeah off the top of my head that's uh, that's all i got uh, i hope i hope i was able to help today uh and uh give a little bit make marco a little clearer yep very good very good yeah, definitely. This was a great masterclass about uh, Marco overall, and huge thanks uh, to you, Muka. Uh, definitely, it shows uh, your experience as the best parallel coach. Um, so yeah, big thanks for for being here, and I hope all, all of you guys. We we actually had a, a quite a lot of assistance because not all of these uh, people here are going to play Marco in the tournament. So they, they came just to, to watch you and, and, and learn overall. So that's, that's very good. They didn't no, have to sick. come. So, so very good. I, very good. Yeah. No, I appreciate you guys giving me the time. Uh, if any of you guys ever have a question, uh, it doesn't have to be just Marco related. I'm, I'm a DM away. You can shoot me a message on Twitter or on Discord. I always like to help people out. So I'll give you my ideas or whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you, Quinto, for, again for the opportunity. It's always a pleasure being on the stream and hanging out with you. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Okay, big, big thank you, big thank you to all. See you tomorrow for the Cathari class. We're gonna do the same uh, dynamic as today. So yeah.